Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Out of This World on the Sinclair and the ZX Spectrum. Um, this is a 48k game only apparently. Um, I've reviewed this on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. They played, well the Amstrad version played pretty well. Um, Commodore 64 wasn't as good. So let's see how it plays on the Spectrum. Push space to start. Get quite a lot of lives here. Right. Oh dear. Push fire to go. Ooh. What is apparent? There's no sound. It moves along pretty quickly. Oh, I think we've got to collect all these. Um, yeah, no sound at all. What's that all about? It doesn't look... It doesn't look very good. Oh, bollocks. Like the Commodore 64 version, we do get a HUD. We didn't with the Amstrad version. I don't, oh you can use keys in this game, but I don't know how to activate the power-ups. But it, obviously you're going to expect it to be monochrome. But what you do expect to have it, have some sounds. Where's the sounds? Obviously this would have been programmed for a 48k. As I said, this is a 48k game only. No 1 to 8k game. 87? The 1 to 8k was out. And there wasn't a, you know, usually you get a 48k version and a 1 to 8k version, but there's no 1 to 8k version. I can help. Well, you can. It's the firing's a lot more rapid than the Commodore 64 version. So it's easier to shoot at things. I'll give it that. It's definitely easier to shoot at things. And I think it's definitely the fastest. Fastest scrolling out of all three of them. Um, get a big plan area. I don't like the look of the ship. The look of the ship looks pretty crap. Compared to the CPC and the Commodore 64 version. So you wouldn't think this version looked like um, Fantasy Zone. Because the ship looks completely different. Where the Amstrad CPC version has resemblance to Fantasy Zone. Which came out on the Sega. I think the Master System and the Mega Drive. I mean it plays okay. What was that be? It's a bit oh. What happened there? Oh! <laughs> so, this is the first time I've got off the first level. No, I'm still on level one. Well, I never saw, I never saw this bit on the Commodore 64 and the CPC. I was, couldn't even get off the first part. Yeah, there's a bit of slowdown going on here. But definitely the Spectrum version could have been better. Could have been better. Shame we there wasn't a 1 to 8K version. Could have had some nice AY sounds going on. But we got zero sounds. Zero sounds. Maybe they ran out of memory. I don't know. But they must have had their reason. I mean, it's not the first game on the Spectrum I've played with no sounds. And that was even the case on the CPC. I, I've played a couple of games where it didn't have no sounds. I, I think, well, one of them was Paperboy. That didn't have no sounds. But they ran out of memory, I guess. But this, I don't know. Maybe they did run out of memory. But why couldn't they have done it on a 1 to 8K? I would definitely say this may be the easiest version. 
because I'm on level two. But it's certainly not the attra most attractive version. It's definitely the worst looking out of all three versions. But I guess it's more gameplay. I mean, I mean it's playing okay. I'm perhaps. I don't know how to activate the power-ups. Perhaps you don't have to activate the power-ups. Game over. We'll have another go. We'll have another go. So this is the only bit of sound you're going to get, is the bleep of music, which don't sound too bad. Actually, it don't sound bad at all for a bleeper tune. But that's all you get audio-wise. I mean, couldn't they have put that at least in the game. Right, start. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it's... I certainly, I would give it... It's playing better. It plays better than the Commodore 64 version. I'll give it that. Is it? I think it's a little bit more easier. The, the firing's more rapid. You can. It's easier to hit things. And as you saw, I achieved getting off the first level on my first go. I mean, looks-wise, uh, that would definitely go for the. That will go to the Amstrad. The looks-wise, the presentation, the graphics, the colours. That will definitely go to the Amstrad, but I think playability, I don't know, I'm, this is growing on me, playability wise. This is really growing on me. Because I think it is the easiest version. So, I mean it looks, it doesn't look very nice. But the playability is definitely there. So it looks like I've got to end when I get that bomb. So as I said, it definitely scrolls the quickest. And it's, it's player, as I said, it's definitely playable. It's definitely playable. Oh, bollocks. What the fuck? How the fuck was that fair? I just started it, blew up. Bit like a London bus. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit unfair. I think they need to work on that. At least give it about a two second invincibility none of the versions I played had that at least two seconds of in, in invincibility you know just so you can have a chance to move if there's something there so I've got that against it with all three versions actually because that wasn't fair was it I just the game started and it blew up instantaneously so Oh, well, I don't even know if the Commodore 64 has any strengths because it didn't play no way as good as this. Um, it didn't look as no way as good as the Amstrad version. This, the Spectrum version's got playability. I'll give it to the Spectrum version for playability. But as I said, looks wise. The Amstrad, get, the Amstrad will get that, no doubt about it, because this is definitely the worst out of the three for, for looks. This doesn't look very good, the main sprite, but I, I definitely will give it for playability. You know, once you get into it, it's pretty good, right? I need that to get off the level one. Well, not off level one, because now I've got the asteroids to get through. But I mean, that looks crap. 
But then again, I didn't see what the Commodore 64 and the CPC version looks like because I didn't get this far. I don't know how many I'll get, but it's just so. Oh, I blew up. I hit a fucking asteroid. Yeah. Um, playability. Yeah, it, it's definitely there. It, it plays pretty well in this game on the Spectrum, but presentation, graphically, it's the worst. But, you know, what's more important, playability or graphics? I'd say playability because, you know, it is, it's play, always with me, it's playability um, wins over looks. I mean, something can look so um, brilliant, but it plays like crap. But this has definitely got the playability. Maybe the, I think the Amstrad also has the playability, but I think this um, this version is slightly easier. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it if you ain't played it. Definitely give it a go. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.